Hey boys and girls, today we learned all about the American artist Charlie Harper and his fascination with birds. Today we will be making a Charlie Harper inspired winter scene with our very own beautiful cardinal. We learned all about cardinals and how Charlie Harper is a modernist, meaning he uses really clean lines and simple shapes to create his work. So to get started, you need a piece of paper, Hopefully you have watercolor paper. If not, any paper you have would be great. And also a pencil. Eventually we'll be using watercolors and oil pastels, but if you don't have those, crayons and washable markers work great. Or you can use colored pencils, or you could even collage. So whatever you want to use to make our artwork is fine. So the first thing we need to do, as always, is write our name and our teacher code. So I'm writing my name. You would write your name and then your teacher code which would be four and then your teacher's uh, initial for their name then flip it over I'm holding my paper portrait style which means long ways up and down vertically and we are going to start today by making the branches of our tree that our bird will be sitting on so my first branch is going to cut across my paper a little bit lower than halfway so starting at one side, I'm going to make a line and it's a little diagonal. Your branch does not need to be perfect. If you think about the way trees and branches grow, they are hardly ever perfectly straight. On one side, I'm going to make my branch a little bit thicker and get skinnier and skinnier as it goes towards the edge. That's pretty thick. It does not need to be that thick. In fact, I'm going to make it a little bit skinnier here and erase that part perfect okay from this major branch we're going to make a smaller branch coming off so wherever your branch connects to your first one it will be a little bit thicker so again i'm going to draw a small line and as my branch gets farther and farther away it's going to get skinnier and skinnier almost like a big triangle beautiful. Next, you're going to make a branch that comes up from the bottom of our page. I have a lot of open space over on my left side, so I'm going to put my branch going in this direction. If you have more space on this side, you could have your branch going up in that direction. It is up to you. You are the artist. So making my line, I'm going to give it a little bit of a curve and just fill that space and make the other part coming off to a skinny point. And I'm going to give this one a little baby branch coming off, just a little one. Beautiful. Next, we're gonna scooch up to the top of our picture here. We have all this open space. We will be drawing a bird somewhere on this major branch. You can decide where. I'm going to put mine over on this side, so when I make my final branch, I'm going to make sure I don't cut through where my bird will be. My branch will curve around to the other side. So I'm starting at the top, and this branch will be coming down. This one's going to be a really skinny one, just like that. On the edge of every one of your branches, we are going to make some pine needles. Pine needles are super easy to do. Let me show you on the back of my paper. If this is the bottom of your branch here, I like to make a little line where the middle of my pine needles will be. And then I add some wispy lines going in one direction at an angle, wispy lines going in another angle. It almost makes a um, arrow shape. When you do this, make sure you do it very lightly because when you're coloring over top, you don't want the pencil to make your greenery a little dingier. Sometimes the pencil mixes with whatever you're coloring with. So do this really, really lightly. Just giving you an idea of where you're going to lay your color down and they don't have to be perfect. Right? Just like that. Perfect. We are now ready to start drawing our cardinal. Now, remember Mr. Charlie Harper used basic shapes? So when we draw our cardinal, we are also going to use basic shapes. 
To start off, I'm going to use an oval for the body. I want the body to touch this branch because my bird will be resting on it. I don't want him floating in midair, although he is a bird, so technically he could. So starting with a large oval shape. Okay, that's not be perfect. I have some areas that are a little funky and that's okay. For the head, we are going to make a circle that hits right on top of the body. It can even overlap. I've told you before, I'm not great at making circles, so I do this trick where I lightly go around and around until I get it right, and then I can push a little bit harder. Okay. You can then erase the lines where the circles meet, so you're left with just the outline. Like that. All right. Cardinals have this really cool mohawk on their head that comes off. To make that, we will be making a triangle. It's almost like a little shark fin coming off the back of his head or a party hat. Give your cardinal a little party hat. He's ready to party. A bird party. And again, erase the line and make it one big shape. Okay. Let's add some wings. So you can draw your wings if you want. They could be out. We saw how Charlie Harper used uh, multiple lines to make it look like the bird's wings were flapping. You could certainly do that if you want. You would just draw skinny lines going in a radial direction, radial meaning round. Or you can make a elongated triangle shape like I'm about to show you. So I start in about the middle of his circle oval body. And I'm going to draw a curved line down and starting at the top where his kind of shoulder meets his head, another curved line down to make a point on his little wing. And then as always, erase any lines that you need to get rid of. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side, but you're not going to see the full wing because his chubby little bird body is in the way. So starting where the neck and shoulder meet, curve line down and I'm just going to bring it back up till it meets his body. It might come all the way down and tuck behind him so you don't see it. That's up to you. And let's draw his tail. His tail is kind of a rectangle shape so it's going to go behind the branch here. So I'm going to make a line that's coming down. If you hit your branch stop jump over to the other side and continue. Then I'm going to make another one over here and it's going to get a little bit wider. So a somewhat of a diagonal line, how it gets a little bit wider. Then I connect it with a curved line. Look at that little tail. Now let's add some facial features. Cardinals have this really cool black area on their face. To make that area, we are just going to use a semicircle shape at the front of your Cardinals face. Now you can draw your cardinal facing whichever way you want. He doesn't have to be facing the same direction. So whichever is going to be the front of your cardinal's face, you're going to make a semicircle. Okay, it almost looks like he has a little hood on. He's wearing a little jacket. Inside of that shape, I am going to draw another large circle. And make it larger than you think you will need because it can get kind of tricky to color that in. Then on the inside of that, I make another smaller circle so his eyes look shiny. Now it's time for the beak. The beak is going to be, you guessed it, a triangle. Making a triangle on the front of his face, just like that. He is looking good. The last thing we need to add before we color is his little feet. The little feet will be curving around to grip this branch. So we're going to use curved lines and they will be a W shape. Let me zoom in so you can really see. Okay, starting at the front of his body, curving around and back. I'm doing it one more time like I'm making a W that's got a little funky. Same thing, another bird foot curving his little claws around so it looks like he's gripping the branch. Look at him, he is so excited. Okay, you are now done drawing your cardinal and we are ready to talk about color.